My message for people that may have a misconception about pit bulls or for bigger people would be go up, shake that person's hand. <laughs> if you don't meet them, you never have an idea of what that person is like. <laughs> and the same with pit bulls. You have no idea what friendship that can come from a simple high. Noah is the older of the two. He's more of, I like to say, like the grumpy old man. He doesn't like the sound of whipped cream. He doesn't like the fidget spinners. He really hates those. Lincoln, he's a goofball. He loves to roll around on any and everything, and he bumps into everything. I asked the breeder, hey, what are you gonna do with that one over there? And he said, I'll get rid of him. He won't make me any money. I was like, if you're just gonna get rid of him, I'll take the dog, I'll give him a good, loving home, and I'll take him with me. So I took him and I called the wife as we were driving home, and I told her, hey, uh, this wasn't the plans, but uh, we just got a dog. <laughs> and she goes, what? And I said, I'll explain to you later. Here we are, nine, 10 years later, he's alive and kicking. <laughs> Noah almost senses your energy. The days that I wasn't feeling so good, he kind of picked up on that and he would come over and he would just lay his head on my leg, on my lap. Having dogs, it's a huge responsibility, especially having the breed that we have. That's even more of a responsibility because you have to kind of become an advocate of the breed and show people that these dogs have, have had a bad rap. So the chihuahua is barking, acting out, you know, being aggressive. Lincoln is focused on me, no lunging, walking just as normal. Hey, don't you know that pit bull will eat you for breakfast? And I thought to myself, this is one uneducated individual, which was to me very unfortunate, but it's something that I see a lot. I've seen it in my entire life. I was stereotyped myself. Because I don't smile a lot or because I don't go out and just randomly shake people's hands, some people have thought, have thought of me as being, oh, he's probably a mean guy, he's probably not nice. We're talking about people that don't know me, have never spoken to me. Put your hand near your dog like you're going to pet them, but don't pet them yet and see what they do. Lincoln, where are you? Lincoln, hey, Lincoln, Lincoln. They taught me two things. You can and always be positive. The thing about Noah, whatever you're facing, you can get through it. Lincoln has taught me to always stay positive. Regardless of the situation, even when that gentleman picked up his chihuahua and made those comments, Lincoln kind of looked over and gave him that, that beautiful pity smile, as if he was like, I don't care what you say, I'm still me, I'm still beautiful.